My name's Josh, I'm um, a correctional officer of the Gatwick Cornea Correctional Centre. I've come from a construction background, I've done a lot of civil mining work. I ended up starting having a young family and my young family took priority over my life and my previous job was consuming my entire life. I was working six days a week, 12 hour days. So I'd spoken to a lot of officers and done a little bit of homework on what actually is involved in correctional officers and number one reason I come across I think was structure, flexibility, being able to move shifts around. If my young family had events on or anything like that, I could actually swap shifts, etc. So the flexibility was great for me. People think it's prisoner management, which is obviously our core business, prisoner management. The safety and security of the sector as well. If we do external escorts with, you know, with prisoners, we do counselling for prisoners. I've worked reception store, a lot of control room operating, a lot of administrative work. I've worked and relieved and done um, training in every post. I really like within the centre the um, opportunities within training that's offered, the progressional model, the opportunities that are given. If you want them, they are there. Probably one of my, yeah, one of my most standout points of the job is being able to help the prisoners, being able to go home, come back the next day and, and their mates transition into something else that he was trying to, you know, whether he's come to you and asked that I want to do a program and you facilitate that and watching them progress through in the programs, etc., and actually helping them through, giving them a, a sense of ownership in themselves and going off to do their own thing and not coming back. Communicating, a higher level of communication and understanding probably does go a long way in being a corrective services officer, especially when you're communicating vulnerable problems to counsellors or psychs or nurses or they have requests for outside um, you know, contact with their family. On day to day we'll get phone calls that someone's passed away or someone's partner has you know, had something happen. And that's when prisoners are their most vulnerable I guess and that's where you've got to sort of be an empathetic person to do this position as well. They're locked inside a gate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so they can't just pick up the phone and make a phone call. They can't just, you know, go to whoever their support people are. And, and so you've got to be a little bit empathetic. It definitely goes a long way in being in this position as well. I guess you wear many hats as an officer. Yeah, it's a very dynamic role in regards to actually being a correctional service officer and what you do. No, no day is ever the same. Not one single day is ever the same.